Jeff Cork, you ready to go tackle E3? Let's tackle it big time. Hey, can we get a photo with the dinosaur? Oh, yeah. Right there. Hey, we're new. Oh, is this Tekken? Cork, if you shave off your beard and put it on top of your head, you look like Heihachi. Yeah. You know what? He does look happy, at least. Is that what happiness looks like? If you look at my wedding photos closely, that's the expression I'm making. It's the Russian media at their finest. Here's the T-Mobile booth, the giant game publisher, T-Mobile. Yep, huge fan of their stuff. That game, uh, where's my signal? So steep. I will be very disappointed if you can't end a level by being a giant snowball with arms and legs sticking out. Alienware. So that's how they work. You know what, Cork? I just don't find this booth palatable. <laughs> Indiecade's always a good place to go and find some weird indie game. Last year they had a game where you're sniffing dog butts. Okay. And that game became Watch Dogs 2. Infinite O's. And you're apparently okay. feeling up a slipper. All right, I think it's time we have the talk, Ben. That's why this booth's so weird. These guys are dropping E. <laughs> you can see uh, Namco has really upgraded their booth. You can see E3 from here. You know what? Just ignore these creepers. Kato, how's, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Yeah. Playing zombies? Uh, no, we're just hanging out. A couple of uh, oh. California buddies is what we call ourselves. Is this going well? No. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you about Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Give us the spiel. I'm sitting in the booth. Ready? Go. Okay, got it. I um, do you know Sony PlayStation? Can I show you guys the Naughty America booth? Look at this. This has like got to be an hour plus line. And then you have to watch porn with your pants on in front of everyone. Get to. I like that it's across from Ace Banana. Are we sure that not everybody's coming here for Ace Banana? <laughs> They're looking Aww. away because they don't want to spoil Ace Banana for themselves. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you guys do your show floor too. You want to go in here? Who's your favorite character from the Quakerverse? Blue hair lady, it seems nice. Yeah, there's that guy who jumps a lot. There's the guy with the whips. Oh, Dynamite, I love him. Yeah. He's one of my oh. favorite Quakers. Professor Dynamite, yeah. Qu Quake himself. What does this button do? Oh, oh it, gosh. Well, almost falls off instantly after touching it. I want you to look at the sign and tell me what you think Ron Perlman was thinking as they took that photo. They met him at the meet and greet line and were like, you're in our game, you probably don't know this. And he said, what? And then they took the picture. Uh, Mr. Perlman, we couldn't get the stain out. Ron, this is actually not based on the candy bar. <laughs> Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, get out of my way, don't touch me, don't touch me. Larry Herb, more like Larry doesn't look good in red. What's it gonna take to get you into this Xbox One S? What does the S stand for? Stopgap. Samuel. Should buy a PC. Actually, I think it's just Xbox Ones. Thank you so much. What's we got? Ratchet and Voodoo Vents. That's right. You know, a lot of people are confused about what the Batman VR game is. He decides to follow his dream and manage a sunglasses hut. This is the new Resident Evil. This game is really spooky if you've never lived in a really crappy house before. So there's Microsoft's Phil Spencer. I think he's gonna try to buy Farpoint, guys. See, he's trying to play it cool, like, how much for this Farpoint, by the way? Does this work with HoloLens? Just asking yeah. for a friend. They're actually confused. They think it's Tom Hanks. Earlier today, he ate a child. He can't take us all, everybody! <laughs> it's uh, Nintendo's Tim Cook. I thought he'd be taller. He seems nice. This entrance is a giant slipper. The next Zelda game is called Breath of the Wild. How about certs every once in a while? Yeah, come on. Hey, welcome to Benny's. What can I get you? What do you recommend? It all looks so good. 
Yeah, it's all made of plastic, but I recommend the mushroom. Feeds a family of four, okay. or one person four times. Can you just pick something for me? I don't even want to. It's gluten free. Oh dear, never mind. Yeah. I like to cancel. <laughs> also, they're all rotten and full of bugs. Why do you guys have two microphones? It's in stereo. What's the best three things you've seen at the show? Other than Psychonauts, the Robots are Ruined. I love the live orchestra, the Sony. I like seeing uh, Inside and Below, and some other prepositional phrases. And now do I do the whole thing again to this little microphone? <laughs> I like the following three games. <laughs> that, that. Oh my gosh, we just killed Tim Schafer. Well, Quirk. Yes, that was E3. We did it. We really did it. It's always a celebration of video games here. Always. And it was fun to go and see it with you. And we retract all the mean things we said for the sake of this schmaltzy ending in which we say video games are art. That's right. Someday, it won't matter anymore, because we'll all be gone. Yep. We'll become legend. That's right. Jump in.